Now we'll talk about operations with even and odd numbers. And by operations, we mean mathematical operations. And specifically, we'll talk about ad uh, addition and multiplication. And when you add numbers or multiply numbers, whether the answer is odd or even depends on the original numbers. Specifically, it depends on the sign of the original numbers, whether the original numbers are odd or even. So let's look at some examples involving addition first and take note of the pattern that becomes evident when we do these examples. And these are really simple. Uh, I'm not quizzing you here on whether you know your basic addition, but just take note of the pattern that appears here. 2 plus 2 is 4. And note that um, both of these numbers are even and the result is even. The same thing happens here. 2 plus 4 is 6. 6 plus 8 is 14 and 8 plus 12 is 20. In all of these cases we're adding two even numbers and the result is even. So let's just take note of that. The result is even. Let's look at this next column here. In all of these cases 3 plus 3 or 1 plus 7 in every case we're adding two odd numbers. So let's do it. 3 plus 3 is 6. 1 plus 7 is 8, 3 plus 9 is 12, and 5 plus 11 is 16. Again, we get even numbers. Adding two odd numbers, the result is even. And these patterns hold every single time, not just in these specific examples, but these are general concepts that are always the case. Now let's look over here. 1 plus 4 we have an odd number and an even number added together. And that's the case for all of these. We're adding an even and an odd number. 1 plus 4 is 5. 3 plus 2 is 5. 6 plus 3 is 9. 9 plus 2 is 11. If we add one even and one odd number, the result is odd. Now, you can think of these as little rules. Adding two even numbers gives you an even result. Adding two odd numbers gives you an even result. Adding one even and one odd number gives you an odd number result. But I don't memorize those little rules. It's actually pretty easy to get those mixed up if you just try to memorize those rules by brute force. What I do if I need to know this, I'll just do a quick simple example in my head. In my head, just in a in an instant, I can add two plus four and, and get six, and I note in my mind that adding two even numbers gives me an even number. So I figure these rules out on the fly if I ever need them rather than memorizing those rules. What you should know is that these patterns are true in general and the results hold in every single case. So I would encourage you to understand that. And then if you need to know for a specific case, like if you're asked a question, 512 plus 8, is that going to be even or odd? Well, we think two even numbers. And then you can think, okay, two even numbers. Well, 2 plus 4 is 6. Two even numbers give me an even number. And I know that's always true, so I know the answer would be even. Okay, let's look at some examples involving multiplication. Okay, here uh, again some examples, and they're, they're really simple, but again, you're looking for a pattern here. 2 times 4 is 8, and take note that we have two even numbers multiplied together and the result is even. And that will be the case for all of these. Two even numbers here, 6 times 8 is 48, the result is even. 4 times 10 is 40, again the result is even. If you multiply two even numbers, the result is even. And that's true every single time. Now look here, 3 times 5, two odd, numbers, two odd numbers multiplied together. 3 times 5 is 15. 5 times 7 is 35. 9 times 5 is 45. And you see the pattern. This pattern, it turns out, is always true. Multiply two odd numbers and the result is odd every single time. And over here we have 2, an even number, multiplied by 3, an odd number. 2 times 3 is 6. 4 times 5 is 20. 6 times 9 is 54. In all of these cases, we're multiplying one even number and one odd number. 
and the result is even. So we have three little rules we could memorize for addition and three little rules we could memorize for multiplication. But again, rather than memorizing the rules, it's probably easier to remember one simple fact. And that fact is that these patterns always hold. They're always the case. And if you know your basic addition and multiplication, you can figure out these rules if you need to.